Ulysses S. Grant, the 18th President of the United States, 1869-1877, graduated from the United States Military Academy at West Point in 1843 and served as a career military officer before entering politics. During the American Civil War, Grant rose to prominence as a Union general known for his leadership and strategic victories. He played a crucial role in the Union's victory over the Confederate States of America. Grant's most notable military achievement was his successful campaign to capture Vicksburg, Mississippi, in 1863. After the war, Grant served as commanding general of the United States Army. Grant's presidency was marked by efforts to reconstruct the South and protect the civil rights of newly freed slaves. He also supported the enforcement of voting rights for African Americans and signed the Enforcement Acts. He established the Yellowstone National Park as the first national park in the United States in 1872. Ulysses S. Grant, from Civil War General to Commander-in-Chief. Andrew Johnson, the 17th President of the United States. Born in 1808 North Carolina, Johnson served as President from 1865 to 1869. Johnson became president after the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. He granted amnesty and pardons to many former Confederates, which drew criticism and accusations of being sympathetic to the Southern cause. Johnson favoured a lenient approach to Reconstruction, which clashed with the Republican Congress, who sought harsher punishments for the South. Johnson vetoed the Civil Rights Act of 1866, but Congress overrode his veto, marking the first time that a presidential veto was overridden. Johnson was responsible for the purchase of Alaska from Russia in 1867, known as Seward's Folly. He was the first US president to be impeached. The impeachment trial occurred in 1868. Although Johnson was not removed from office, his impeachment left a lasting impact during a difficult period in the aftermath of the Civil War. Andrew Johnson, The Impeachment Trial Abraham Lincoln the 16th President of the United States from 1861 to 1865. He was the first Republican president in US history. Lincoln's presidency was dominated by the American Civil War, which began in 1861. Lincoln led the Union, composed of the Northern States, against the secessionist Confederacy. Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation in 1862, declaring that all enslaved individuals in Confederate-held territory were to be set free. He delivered the Gettysburg Address in 1863, he advocated for voting rights for African Americans, and pushed for the passage of the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery. Despite the ongoing war, Lincoln ran for re-election in 1864 and won a second term. Abraham Lincoln's leadership during the Civil War preserved the Union, ended slavery, and shaped civil rights in the United States. However, on April 14, 1865, his legacy was tragically cut short by his assassination. Abraham Lincoln, The Fight for Freedom, Civil War Era Thank you for watching. Subscribe now at American Presidential History. Stay updated with the latest videos. Follow at American Presidential History for more content and shorts. Like, share, and support the channel's growth. Subscribe now. www.youtube.com American Presidential H History Welcome to American Presidential History. Dive into the captivating world of U.S. presidents through engaging stories that bring their lives, legacies, and the times they lived in vividly to life.